hey guys welcome back to the channel long time no makeup video and no voiceover i said to do this one for you guys because i've missed you guys so much so guys so i went straight into micella water to cleanse my face and i was showing guys the dirt that i got out of it and after that i went into moisturizing my face so this is simple makeup look simple for all those that don't want to do something serious you just want some just want to your face to look brightened to look lifted up elevated it's the easiest makeup look for you so i went into primer after moisturizing my face and i primed my face guys i wasn't going anywhere with this makeup so i didn't need to put so much primer so for all you sink bodies that don't like serious makeup you just want something very very simple this is your go-to makeup steps after putting primer i allowed it to dry off and i went into my foundation if you can see in this video i didn't put a whole lot of ooh, skin i guess in the foundation match i used in the foundation match i didn't put a whole lot of foundation i just used like one layer of foundation because like i said i wasn't going to nail this makeup unless you just filmed this video for you all so i put just one layer so all you nine to five workers that just want something simple you don't want or you have an event you just want something simple you can do by yourself you can run it this way so i whoosh, 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 is too much i'll show you guys the foundation match how uh, it sat in my skin like guys it went perfectly well i used contour but it wasn't contour i thought this shade was dark enough not until i'm editing this video i realized that it wasn't as dark as i thought it was but anyways that is what i was trying to do was to contour my face with a cream with a liquid contour which i can't say the contour but if you have a liquid contour or your foundation darker than your shade you can use it for your contour guys i wanted to show you guys how you could use one product for different stuffs. I think that makes sense. So this is me using my lipstick. This is the first time I'm trying this. I have a blush palette, but I was trying to let you guys know that you don't need to break the bank to use a whole lot of makeup to do your face. So it could multi like use one product for two different purposes. You get. So I use my lipstick. This is my nude lipstick, as you can see, my peaching lipstick. I think it's from Ega and Esther, and I used it as my blush. So if you have that lipstick line in your makeup box that you've not used for a long time, you can actually use it as a blush if it matches the kind of tone of blush you want. So I went into my concealer. Of late, I've been loving bright under eyes. So I said to do a bright under eyes because normally I would not use this shade of concealer for myself. I did a bright under eyes. I went to my concealer. I like put my concealer in my T zones and under my eyes to highlight. My face, I think you guys can see how it's doing. So I went into the concealer and a beauty blender. My beauty blender is from Mera Cosmetics, guys. You can check them out on Instagram to order yours. It's very, very good. Like, the difference is so clear between this beauty blender and every other one I've been using. So I went into blending my face. Make sure there's no harsh line. Guys, you can see the highlights already. Like, the areas I put my concealer are already showing that they are way highlighted guys i'm sorry for the background noise i don't know what's happening in my compound today but they are doing their thing after that i went into my setting powder setting powder is from mira cosmetics i'm obsessed with that brand god because they get it so perfectly well so i went into my setting powder in the shade cinnamon from mira cosmetics and i applied that guys i like what it's doing I was just so happy with everything the outcome of this makeup so i applied setting powder in all the areas i highlighted don't forget all the areas I highlighted. By highlighting, I mean all the areas I put concealer are the areas I'll put my setting powder. Guys, I'm trying to make this video very easy so that you guys can understand it very well. After that, I went into my face powder. I used the Fenty powder for my face powder. And I applied face powder all over my face except the area I highlighted. Don't forget this. And I went into my contour from i can't remember the brand again cover girl something something contour so i use the contour i love blush so much so i don't really do too much of contour because i'm going to use blush to what put colors on my face so i went into my blush my blush like i was telling you guys is it one product to do two or three things that blush you just saw me use right now is an eyeshadow that i've always had so i use the pink shade in it i'm a pink girly blush I mix sometimes pink and orange, but mostly on the pink side. After my blush, I went into my nose contour. I used the same nose con nose face contour. Sorry, guys. I had the same powder I used for my face contour for my nose contour. You guys can see, I just applied my nose contour in the size of my nose, size corners of my nose. And I will go into my brows 
guys for brows before i draw my brows i like to set my brows and i use this brow tamer to set my brows in the shape i want them to be i need to come up come up close for you guys to see what i was trying to do maybe i will zoom in this particular part so you can see what i'm trying to do so i'm just setting the brows i'm just placing them in the place i want them to be using my brow pencil that comes with a spoolie and this pencil is from mismetic yeah i think so either mismetics or i can't remember sure but i was using the pencil guys i've i'm in love with this eyeshadow this annie beauty eyeshadow like i'm in love i'm so much in love with the eyeshadow like i tell you guys i was doing something very simple i wasn't doing like a no eyeshadow look so i just went straight to apply eyeshadow straight like this brown shades in it like i said i wanted this video to be like an easiest video for people that don't want makeup a simple video you just want to do your makeup and you don't want to do your makeup at the same time you just feel like oh i don't to make my face look bright this video is for you so i went into the simple the light shade of the brown that matches almost my skin tone and i used it for my eyeshadow if you could notice i didn't put any eyeshadow primer i didn't put anything in my eyes under my on my eyelid i just went straight into the eyeshadow and it's giving it's giving what it's supposed to give guys I, I like what i'm seeing but anyways like i said this video is the simple makeup video for like a nude look makeup video so and i'm hoping that you guys understand what i'm doing because i like what i'm doing so i just needed to smudge out the outer line a little with a little bit it's a darker shade of brown so still using the same brush i use for the full eyeshadow i just used to smudge the outer parts of the eyes so that gives them this in-depth look so it doesn't just look plain guys i am in my brown season of eyeshadow this period like i like to do the brown eyeshadows more like something that matches my skin tone straight up for under eye pencil i use merak oh my god merak cosmetics again so i use the merak cosmetics pencil black pencil in the shade charcoal for my under eye pencil i just used it to apply under eyes my under eye pencil I don't really like using liquid liner for my under eyes so if you can if you use liquid liner that's fine but for me i don't really like using liquid liner i prefer to use pencils for my under eyes for my lips i use a normal davis brown pencil you know to outline my lips so i drew the brown shade to outline my i use a brown shade to outline my lips i think this is number 18 of the pencil that's what i use guys i have not applied lipsticks but i like how my lips were already looking from what i'm seeing so i go to the fact that this is not a brown pencil a brow a lips pencil is a brow pencil i had to draw draw to intensify what i wanted so after that i went into that same lipstick i used for my blush don't forget and i just put tap 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 a little because i didn't want i wanted to give like no lips vibe at the same time you know that there's lipsticks but no lipstick kind of vibe so i went into it and blended the shades the brown and the peachy nude that i used guys this tutorial is very simple and understanding that's why i didn't even make the video fast i allowed you guys to see everything because it's like the simplest makeup look you could ever do if you're going out or like i said you have an event you don't want something serious you want to give the old makeup and no makeup kind of look this is the simplest you could do so i went into drawing my brows with that pencil so i just kind of filled the brows like i just filled my brows i didn't want the whole shading and all down there to look light and natural so i just watch me draw my brows and i'll be back <music>
after drying my brows, I went into concealing my brows and I used my pencil from Younger Beauty. Okay, no, 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 this pencil is from Mira Cosmetics. Oh my god, I forgot. It's from Mira Cosmetics. I used their angled brush to outline, to outline my brows. So I just wanted to clean it and give it a sharp look. Like I told you guys, I wanted it to look natural. So I needed to just do this, so guys. So just watch and see how I did it. I was light-handed. So if you're a beginner, you don't need to rush all these things. You need to take your time. So normally, if makeup will take me, I did this makeup in 30 minutes because I'm a makeup artist by profession. So I already know what I was doing. So I was just... I don't know if you're trying to say. If you're a beginner, you could take your time. If you normally, you know, makeup you normally do is one hour, 30 minutes or one hour. Best believe you spend almost one hour, 30 minutes now, or probably maybe two hours because you don't need to be rushing if you're a beginner. You need to take your time to blend so it doesn't look harsh and all of those stuff. So I applied the concealer on the other brows and just trying to make the brows pop and make it look clean. So guys, I just allow you guys to watch and enjoy the rest of the video. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and join this family. And I'm going to be dropping more videos like this for you guys to show you guys how to do your makeup, vlogs, and all the good stuff here happen in this channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Bye. guys i just applied the dewy balm on my highlighted area i'm going to using this sealed spray to lock my makeup so that it lasts long yeah guys, i just spread it generously on my face and i'll highlight it dry this spray feels choking anyways we've come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like share subscribe and comment bye my loves